Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your daily energy update. Now, if your sun, moon, rising is in Virgo, what's up? If you're a Virgo lover, welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers and my OGs. You are definitely appreciated and I love ya. Okay, so um, y'all know my disclaimer, but I'm still running down to you guys. Um, you know, just in case. However, we're all on different timelines, okay? So I may be speaking of past energy. I may be speaking of now energy or future energy for any one of you. But if it feels like it doesn't fit your story, don't force it to fit. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video, okay? Now, um, this is a collective message. So you already know, I may not get your whole story. I may get your whole goddamn story. Um, But still, this is a general reading, okay? So uh, flip the roles as you see fit. If you feel like you need a personal reading, I do have my website is in the detail box below this video. Okay. Now um, I'm going to set my intentions. Of course, before I get started, make sure that you take a moment to breathe in and breathe out to get grounded. Okay. Y'all already know how I do. This is a healing and manifesting chant. So make sure you are connecting to your higher self as you're viewing this. If you're feeling triggered, check in with your emotions, check in with your higher self, okay? So that you can confront that trigger and move on from it. Please do not um, comment it. Don't speak it. Try not to think it. It's okay. You know, we do feel certain things, of course. It's, it's okay to like really embrace your shadows, but you don't want to hold on to certain things because again, this is about your manifestation. And um, if you're vibrationally low, you're going to delay what you're trying to manifest. All right. So that's this is why it's really important. Um, but overall, I do feel like you guys are definitely getting it. <laughs> um, I do have people who have been leaving me certain, you know, comments and stuff about, yeah, <laughs> I've been trying to avoid you because you are um, going to make me face myself. Yes, I am. Okay, that's why I'm here. I'm facing the mirror just like y'all. That, that comment literally made my day. So definitely shout out to you know who you are who posted it. But um, however, it's the truth. You know, I'm, I'm facing the mirror daily and I'm going through certain transitions as well. So we are definitely in this y'all to win this together. We are on this healing journey together. Um, as a light worker, I'm here to help you to evolve. And um, yeah, I want to take y'all with me. You know how that be. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, however it is. So, you know, all of that positive energy that you put back into my channel, it helps my channel to circulate across the YouTube world. Now, let me set my intentions and I'm gonna dive right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guys for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. Thank you for using me as the messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly, showing me what I need to see. I ask that you close all gates, um, mm, close the gates to anything that's not in alignment, right? Okay, there we go. Let, hold up. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. I ask that you close all communication to anyone who is against me or my community. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly. And so it is. I am kind of tiring out just a little bit, but I'm still a little excited to do this reading. So guess what, y'all? This is what I'm doing. So since we are going into Libra season um, tomorrow, I will be posting Libra. And of course, you know, Virgo, I'm, I definitely try to get to um, us every single day, right? But um, yeah, I'm, I'm neck and neck Libra and Virgo. I'm going to be devoting readings um, on a daily basis, God willing. Um, but however, of course, if your person is a Libra, you'll be able to check in. Um, if your moon sign or your rising sign is in Libra or your Venus, you can definitely check into that um, to get more information to fill your story in. OK, I did drop a daily message today, too. So make sure you guys check that out as well. All right, so I'm going to start off here with my Island Time Wellness deck. I don't know why I'm feeling led to use it, but let's see what's up. Tell me about Virgo at this moment. What's happening? Cupid's arrow. Whew. So have faith because love is coming. Mm. There's a surprise invitation or, me or meeting. Okay. So you may feel very hesitant about this. But let's see. I'm going to pull tarot to see what that's about though. So let me see if anything else comes out real quick before I move forward. Anything else for Virgo? 
anything else that feels like it's it talking so some of you have been um definitely communicating with someone talking to them maybe via phone text message social media someone that you may feel kind of interested in okay you've been conversing more um for the most part here and um yes yeah, a lot of texting calling things of that nature but let me see about this cupid's arrow card first i'm gonna start off with my light seers tarot y'all i got the um modern witch deck i think i told y'all about that so bear with me as i continue to learn these cards and get my energy put into them okay so i'll pull from them too so but right now i'm using light seers tarot um <sighs> oh brain fart <laughs> modern witch deck and um i will be pulling from my energy oracle deck i do definitely feel like i'm gonna do that to pull and see what you guys are um definitely feeling for today tell me about cupid's arrow here Oh, look, this is about your nine of cups and, and, and your foundation. All right. So with these two cards that just came out, I definitely feel like, you know, this is about you taking this leap of faith here into your new beginning overall. So you, you, um, let's just say you may have some wishes. Okay. So this is literally your wishes are coming true. You are so close here to, uh, to this. It's like you've been facing so many ups and downs here. And what I see with this is like you're going to really be able to appreciate your love life. But it's going to require your faith. Okay. So have faith with this, especially when it comes to building your firm foundation. Okay. So this is something that's really going to be reliable. With that 401 cards, it can lead to engagements. It can lead to weddings, um, public celebrations and all. Okay. So tell me more about that. Wow. Tell me what I need to see. Mm, seven of swords, so we got to see what that's about here. So it's something going on here where there could be some type of lies or schemes. Somebody could just be wearing a mask or somebody's trying to get away with something here. So let's see what that's about. Show me what I need to see here about this seven of swords. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups in the reverse. So, of course, this is about a decision. So, somebody may have had a lot of options here, but is now deciding here um, or not feeling and confused anymore. I'm also saying here that it could be something going on with... Um, mm, it's like one of those things, you know how you have like a, a chaotic love life, like it could be everywhere. Okay, so this may be the case here with that seven of swords. There's something going on here with whoever this person's is, love life or yours. It's kind of chaotic here. Show me what I need to see. Some confusion. Let's see here about that. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's holding on too tightly to something here, um, whether it's a pattern or behavior or something. But overall, right, mm, it needs, it definitely needs to be some type of truth revealed within this situation here. So it won't lead to something, you know how it's like you regret it, right? Because um, I definitely feel like, Virgo, you are tired of playing games. Tell me about what um, this surprise invitation is about. invitation eight of wands check this out so something sudden is coming in it's like some type of um, movement or a quick decision some type of sudden changes are, are going to happen and it's like this aspect of your life is going to trailblaze is what i'm seeing tell me about this what is this important news that's coming your love life is picking up wow that's what it is your love life is or your romantic life is going to be picking up here. Show me what I need to see here for this eight of wands. But it's a king of um, swords coming in. Okay, so be careful with that. Now, only why I say that is because, again, the king of swords in the reverse can literally be kind of manipulative or conceited. Okay, um, or selfish low standards 
for the most part. They also, I can see, can be kind of mentally abusive or emotionally abusive. Tell me about this King of Swords. Ah, uh, Three of Swords. Oh. So what I'm seeing with that situation is like whatever is happening here, even if this is a past person that may have been in your energy, it's like you may be experiencing heartbreak or um, from this person or, okay, um, this person will, this situation will end up leading to some type of heartbreak. But with that cupid's arrow, it's like, you know, but be patient, have faith, right? Because love is coming in for you, okay? Hmm. It's like either way that goes, right? It's still like, Ugh. but um, Virgo, for real, to be honest with you, a lot of us are having counted our twin. So that could be also a lot of what's taking place here, especially if a new person comes in. It's like they're not your person. But of course, we do have so many different type of soulmates, whether it's your twin flame um, your karmic soulmate or, you know, just a soulmate, right? Somebody you, you click well with. I got a queen of wands also coming in the reverse. So it's some type of demanding situation here. Show me what I need to see about this queen of wands. That's a fire sign energy on top of that. Ace of pentacles in the reverse position. Okay, so there'll be some type of issues or some type of issues within that situation or you will experience it for the most part. This is why I'm getting that have faith. I don't know. Did you tell me about this surprise invitation or meeting? Tell me about this. Okay, so it's a situation. Oh, look what I tell y'all. <laughs> it's like your lover always comes through, Virgo, no matter what. All right, so I'm going to say it's a situation here that you may have your back turned towards with the Ten of Swords coming out in an upright position. Now, um, this situation here may just feel like you are you hit a dead end, right? Um, you guys definitely are feeling some type of sadness from here. Could be separations or whatever, however, with that Ten of Swords, right? And it may you may be because of that, right? Eight of Swords in an upright position. You may feel very trapped or restricted some kind of way here when it comes to um, your judgment overall about what to do with this. So I definitely see this is you. Like, you know what? Let me go ahead and um, get a clear perspective on relationships, period, and start to take this active role, active role in my love life. This is probably where this fire sign energy is coming in for you like okay like whoever this person is that's coming in that you've been communicating with or texting they don't have to be fire sign energy is is basically what i'm picking up is this is you calling yourself you know taking control of your life because this person here who you actually love right your lover um someone you have a strong connection with right my lover's card also represents marriage twin flame um energy partnerships things of that nature right but you know this person you got a strong bond with it's like nothing's happening there's a lot of restrictions or this person may be clouded in their judgment when it comes to them um you know, you guys connecting. So it's like now it's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just step outside of my comfort zone here and start kicking it with other people, right? These choices you're making. Um, when it comes to that, I do feel like you are trying to gain some type of wisdom or understanding over all of this situation. But with the Knight of Pentacles and the reverse, it's like this person ain't even moving. You know, at first it's like, <coughs> sorry, y'all. It may have been some type of slow movement. Um, that they were doing, but it just now feels like, you know, it still feels like you're not getting, you're not fulfilled from that situation overall. Okay. So the choices that you're making and they're, they're, they're very, um, this decision is like, this is a well thought out choice. This is one of these things. It's like, I got to make this decision because, you know, it's going to be me that's going to um, keep me from being restricted and, and waiting in, in this energy of uncertainty. Yeah, I get it. I definitely do. But so you're now in this 
part here where you're talking more, you're conversing more, you're connecting with the people that are, are trying to connect with you, um, just literally dating, you know, or even trying to make the attempt to date um, is what I'm picking up. Okay. So again, have faith, right? Because love is coming is what my spirit team is saying. You know, love is coming. Have faith. It's okay. Just woo it. Okay. So, um, mm, Virgo, it's like, ugh. Show me what I need to see here for my Virgie Virgs. Look, this card came out earlier to material and spiritual um, prosperity. I want my book, y'all. I really want to look that up in the book. Show me what I need to see here. And when I see this, this is about your new beginning. Um, you definitely will have prosperity, especially material prosperity, um, your spiritual prosperity, because you're on this journey. And what you're doing is you're having a lot of memories of love. Look, it's sixes on both of these cards. So this is family. This is someone from the past. Um, you may definitely feel like, you know, this is where the prosperity lies because you are on some type of spiritual journey. And with the memories of love, of course, this is, again, this is from the past. This person definitely either can come back into your life or you may even resurrect this um, situation because of your memories um, of them. You know how you know how that is. It's like whatever you think, you manifest, right? Whatever you feel, you manifest. Whatever you speak, you manifest. This is one of these situations here. Okay, so show me what I need to see. Solitude. I got the victory and success card that came out. The solitude card. Um, so open up your book of wisdom for real. <laughs> You've been in your singleness for a long time. You've learned a lot of lessons is what I see from this. You've been doing the self-evaluating. Um, you've been spending the time with yourself. So you will literally reach that victory and that success okay that you are trying to achieve when it comes to love you have enough under your belt to be able to do that is what i'm seeing here with this solitude card but not only of, of of you being in your solitude or your singleness it's also like you know what i'm ready to be successful at love right or to be recognized in a connection um with the sacral chakra here this is all about your emotions your desire your creativity, your sexuality, all of that is something here that you're now starting to really um, hone in on, okay? Or for some of you, there may be a block in your sacral chakra. So let me see something real quick, y'all. I'm going to see if I can pull my book out, if I see it. If not, I'll move on. It's just really weird that how I had the card, um, had the book, but now I don't Tell me what I need to see. This is my psychic tarot, y'all. I don't even think I was going to even use this, but for some odd reason, I am. Look, you're going to have a reason to rejoice and celebrate. That's all I'm saying. Have faith because love is coming, okay? So it's, oh, sorry, y'all. Um, You'll have a reason to rejoice and celebrate here. That's, again, speaks of what? <sighs> You you connecting with your soul tribe. Um, this could be around some type of engagement, weddings, things of that nature. Um, that could be it. You know, it's just literally just being able to connect with people here. Um that you share common goals with. Thank you. Awareness also has come out. So this is literally, you know, this time where you have to realize you already possess all the tools that you need again solitude when you open up that book it's like you got all the tools you need to guide you and to direct you here into this new phase of your life as long as you're learning how to use these tools then the universe is going to partner with you here and this is why the love is coming in so as you are learning to navigate here through your book of life right everything that you've learned then the universe is bringing it in this is where your angelic team cupid steps in is like let me shoot these people with these arrows um <laughs> So that this person can have some love. Okay, we hear your prayers, honey. 
<laughs> yep, transformation. So you're going through these transformations. Wow, look at this, the spiritual strength card. That's what I'm saying, y'all. It's like, we can't run from our um twins, can we? I know I'm a twin flame too, y'all. We can't run from them. We try. We be like, I'm going to go get this new person. God damn it. <laughs> the next thing you know, they like, uh-uh. <laughs> okay, you're going through a transformation. But a lot of times, um, even within tarot, it's like tarot is going to keep telling us past stories. Because it's, it's a lot that needs to be learned from that that period. Okay, so when, that, and that's literally what it is. It's like tarot literally will speak of past situations all the time because it's a whole lot of aspects you know a whole lot within ourselves that we have to face during those periods um in the past in order for us to be able to get to what this our wishes to come true right um but overall as you're going through this transformation this card is like the death the rebirth card in traditional tarot okay but as you're going through that you're ending the cycles you're ending um an old way of thinking and believing and you're accepting the changes that are happening in your life here, which is expanding you to more. This is where your awareness comes in at. Okay. So as you continue to move on from the past, <sighs> you'll begin to take on a more positive um, path for your future. With the power card here, this is about your new beginning. Literally take authority. You have the power here to do so. And once you recognize your power and how strong you are, which you you guys have been, I, I give it to y'all. Y'all are doing the work, okay? <laughs> but it requires you to be able to have that spiritual strength. So it's like, even though it feels like it's a weight on your shoulder, right? It feels like it may be heavy. It's still about you having that inner strength to complete what you are working on, especially when it comes to achieving your goals around love, okay? You may be tired, okay? <laughs> you may be tired from the struggle of this journey, but now isn't the time to give up. <laughs> Now is not the time to give up on this journey. Fudge it. I'm just not going to do no regular readings no more, y'all. This is just going to have to be Virgo to inflame. Okay. <laughs> but love begins. And with Cupid Arrow that strikes, your cup is about to overflow with so much joy and happiness and positive feelings. You got this new op love opportunity that's coming. Okay, so it's a, a love opportunity that's coming in that's literally a new person, as you can see, could be fire sign energy. You got um, a love opportunity that's coming in from somebody in your past, which really feels like this is um, a, a, a twin flame type energy here. Okay, but overall, this happens when the past issues are resolved. Okay, and forgiveness takes place and the heart is ready to receive. And that's what's, what's going on. You're going through this transformation. And this is what's causing all of this to take place. This is why the memories of love, the past person coming back in. Okay, this is why you are attracting this new person. But overall that the new person is still coming out in a reverse energy. So but I, I do get why that's reverse energy because they wouldn't be your person overall i know right <laughs> i want to know about the sacral chakra card though so let me see something tell me about the sacral chakra what is this card mm, okay we get it <clears throat> yep there go that six of cups again the six of cups literally is this memories of love card okay but basically here, this is about being stuck in the past and especially about um, this past person. OK, whatever may have happened here with this person, you know, you got to be able to stay present. But overall, what I'm saying is like you may have been avoiding to make certain decisions here. OK, because of your memories or your connection with this person, you got past ties. Right. So with that, it's like you you probably were wearing a blindfold to a lot of things to avoid making those decisions. Um, and again, because you really weren't clear here with the high priestess in the reverse about what was happening here in your life <laughs> with the situation. It's just like it always feels like it's hitting motives or whatever is happening here. It just really made you feel uncertain. OK, and again causing a lot of tension for you is what I'm saying Virgo 
a lot of tension for you and that's where this block could be coming in in your sacral chakra because it's not allowing you to really express that creative side of you which is what the uh, side of you that is loving okay the side of you that is coming through as that divine feminine energy thank you show me what needs to see here <clears throat> Coming in with that Empress energy is also what is coming to me, that nurturing energy. Yep, Five of Pentacles. So it's like um, that feeling of uh, being, feeling abandoned or even just that feeling of loneliness there. It's like you're expecting positive changes and that's what you are expecting. But it's like, it feels like, you know, like I'm not, we're not recovering from this. Okay, maybe this person doesn't have the same, you know, it's not mutual feelings, however. And yeah, you didn't know how to really bring this together. So this is why you like, all right, let me just go ahead, step outside my box here. I'll bring the justice to myself at this point instead of me keep waiting on this person to, to bring the balance into this connection with the justice card. It's like, let me make this decision and choose for myself because I'm even, I'm missing something here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not reaching my milestone. Um, so let me protect that. You know what? Let me protect myself. <laughs> Seven of Wands. Let me do that. If it's a lack of cohesion, I got to protect myself. I got to make the decisions for myself and bring myself to justice in order for me to be able to get to here. The world where things can come full circle. Look, let me tell you something, y'all. That came out in my daily read. And let me see something. I want to see... First, what's this person's new person's energy towards you? What does this new person feel about Virgo? What's their energy towards Virgo? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I know, right? I ain't even sharing. I'm just like, the action card is in the reverse. So they won't really put a lot of effort into um, pursuing you is what I'm seeing. And you'll still end up feeling blocked in your happiness in this new beginning. Okay. Door to value also in the reverse. So you're going to feel like it's a, it's a lot of delays here still um, within this situation here. And you won't really feel fulfilled is what I'm seeing. What is, what is this past person's feeling towards Virgo? This person that they got memories of. Y'all going through a storm right now. Wow. And this is what this person may be feeling too. It's like, it's some sudden changes that are taking place between you. And they're looking at you like, you're the storm. Okay. Like Virgo's the storm right now. Show me. What is that? Virgo. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Okay, so <sighs> women holding a coin, they definitely see your value. Okay, I got the walking away card in the reverse. It's like they don't want to let you go. They don't want to move on from you. They don't want to detach from you. They see you as their blossoming abundance, y'all. They see you as this. It's like you bring this um, abundance into them, into their life, whatever way that may be. And, and they really do feel like the universe has blessed them with you. You help them. You support them in so many ways. And they don't want to move on. They're like, nah, I don't want to walk away from this. I don't want Virgo to turn their back on me. I see Virgo as this woman holding a coin as someone that's valuable. But you, you, you are here. You like, I'm letting go of this. Trying to detach, right? But as you can see, you got new person versus old person energy. And of course, y'all, this is energy because you know it does shift at any time. But as it stands now, this is what it's looking like. Okay, boom. All right. So let me see something. I, I know y'all, we be like, oh, <laughs> let me see what young Kepa talking about. Show me what I need to see. Journey. That card keeps coming out for you guys. And that number 10 is there. It's like y'all closing out some cycles. Privileged lady this year. You single. You got massive admirers is what I'm also seeing with that. 
journey single thank you for rich lady and the wealthy man so y'all both met mirroring each other's energy here both both of you are pretty much well off like you can you can provide or do what you need to do for yourself you don't really need to depend on anybody it's like i can take care of myself and do what i gotta do right can make it do what it do okay but um and that's how you look and if you see the privileged lady like side eye and the hell out of the car next to her <laughs> which is this wealthy man like mm. I can do bad by myself, bruh. <laughs> right? But let me see. Tell me about this journey card. <clears throat> Tell me about this journey card. It's like this past person bags is packed. They waiting for the train that, to board so they can get on that sucker and come in is what I'm feeling with that. Yep. It's a lot they trying to do. It's like two energies coming in. Wow. It may be a third person. Queen of Swords here in a reverse position. Okay. So I do see with that. It's like. It's that energy here with that. Whoever that is or whatever that situation may be. It could have just been some type of trauma. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands in the reverse mm -hmm. position. And overall, it's like when it comes to, you know, you developing here this vision for yourself, or even if this is the masculine energies coming in, it just seemed like it was delays, but the, oh, the delays were coming from um, the trauma. Okay. The previous toxic relationships is what I'm seeing. All right. But even with the King of Cups in the reverse position, that's why this person was overwhelmed, is overwhelmed. Okay. Because of those past hurts especially dealing with these feminine um energies um that they may have been connected to whoever that may be but what i'm saying is like they're making this um they're trying to be diplomatic let's just put it that way and and balance their uh their head and their heart when making this decision it's one of these things like they want to be devoted to this but is they're they're overwhelmed um let's just put it that way all right and with the knight of wands coming out in a reverse position this is where that energy comes from where they like eh, they running from commitment right they're unsteady when it comes to this relationship but what i see is like they're they're trying to be and and i really see the, the shift okay because it's like they go from reverse cards here straight into an emperor energy right mm. That emperor energy is just like, to me, when I see that, I see someone who's trying to take authority or trying to, you know, at least stand in that leadership role, trying to become more structured, more disciplined is also what I see when I look at the emperor. Okay, coming from all of those energies there to to that um, alone, but also I can see here on another dynamic of it is you got a couple of people again or several people coming into you coming to you um journeying journey taking a journey to you basically could be coming from a distance and, or it just just doesn't necessarily mean that they're traveling from a distance um but they're moving in towards you and of course two of them are coming in reverse in night and then one coming in as an emperor okay we got a reverse knight of wands and a king of cups reverse so basically we already know that the reverse cards is going to bring in those lessons okay that's that karmic energy <laughs> very selfish energy with the king of cups in the reverse very withdrawn um with that night they're arrogant they're impatient um and change their mind pretty quickly okay um aries i said aries i didn't mean to say that but it must be could be a leo but it's fire sign energy okay and then with the King of Cups, the King of Cups is more like water sign energy. Mm. And then you still, even with the Emperor, that's fire sign energy too as well. Okay, so yeah, it's drum rolls. It's like, they coming in. Tell me about this privileged lady. What did you got to tell us about the privileged lady? Privileged lady, mm. King of Cups, this is what you're doing. I, even when I look at the privileged lady side, I, <laughs> so you know, if you you the feminine of my collective for the most part, it's like, yeah, like I'm trying to 
I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to be able to move on. Okay, after that heartbreak that I experienced there. But that King of Swords that's coming in again, same one in the reverse. They're they're manipulative. Hmm. Wow. Tell me about this wealthy man. <laughs> no, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the moon card comes out in a reverse position, right? So with the moon card, this is like whatever, whatever that fear or you know uncertainty may be it's it's definitely a lot of anxiety that's coming from this wealthy man okay especially when it comes to what they envision for themselves for the future right it's like okay they got this strong vision and it's like <sighs> this fear is there they they're definitely trying to gain some type of understanding here or to get some type of clarity here overall about this um, what they see for themselves for the future. They are looking ahead. Definitely. Empress energy coming in. My divine feminine energy. And it's like they're looking ahead and contemplating over. They, like this is my world. Virgo is my world. Okay. Even though, you know, the Empress is, is, is. Is a tough, let me tell you, I love the Empress energy, right? We all should be embodying that Empress energy. Um, but overall, it's like this circumstance here that you are literally manifesting Virgo. Okay, this is what's bringing in this person as this wealthy man. And, it, and I, when I see that, I don't see it as a man um, that literally has money. That could be the case. But what I see with that wealthy man is, is someone who's now becoming um, someone of value, right? Um, and, and this is their own internal value. It's like they're now starting to see here that they are um, valuable. Let's just put it that way. I feel like this person in your life, Virgo, may not uh, see it. It's like what you see in this person, they don't see it. They don't see their value. They don't see their worth. Okay, and they're contemplating. They're really thinking about this. Really trying to gain some type of awareness here of um, you guys' situation overall. They know you are the one. But it's them getting disciplined and structured to be able to offer you what it is that you are looking for, Virgo. What you're looking for is you want... You're looking for your legacy, Virgo. I definitely feel like you're in this energy. Like, I need to reach my relationship milestone, okay? And on top of that, um, I want to be able to come together. Because y'all both privileged privileged lady and the wealthy man. Okay, building y'all firm foundations individually. It's like, yeah, can we bring that together <laughs> and be this power couple here? <laughs> okay. Can we combine here the love on top of the money, right? To create this legacy so that's what you're looking for and it's like this this person in your life is like can i even be structured or disciplined enough to offer that to virgo okay i do feel like they may have some type of addictions whether it's um you know just codependencies to bad hate behaviors and patterns okay so let me see something here moonology deck and then i'm gonna let y'all go because i know i'm pretty kind of like I'm very low, ain't I? But I, my energy is fine. It's just... Mm -hmm. My phone dropped, of course. So let me see here. What is the closing message for Virgo? Have faith in this, okay? And what the Cupid's arrow say? Look, have faith. <laughs> Love is coming. Wow, hold to your vision, Virgo, um, for this connection, okay? And, of course, you got free will. So, if it's something you like, oh, no, hell no, okay? We get it, okay? <laughs> but for those of you who are still believing, okay, that you can manifest these memories that you are having of your person from the past, have faith, okay? All right, you guys, I love you. Peace.